Okay, it's just a quick demonstration of three ways to uh, get audio out of machine. Um, so I've got machine loaded up, just uh, one of the factory patterns already loaded. Um, hear what it sounds like. Switch the channel on. Okay, so uh, we've got that. Um, if we click and hold the button here, generates a file and with the mouse button, left mouse button still held down, just drop it on an audio track. Um, switch this one off now. Okay, so that's one easy way of doing it. Um, second method is using export audio. Um, and you can choose whether you want master the group or individual sounds. So um, I could select all the individual elements. Um, I put loop optimize on and uh, I've created a folder, click on export okay, let's stop that for a second um, here's my folder it's uh, created the individual elements here so select these drop them on um, and these would be the individual elements nothing on that one hi-hat uh, I think nine's the next one that's got something um, yeah and eleven so I could just break these out into uh, individual channels um, so bring the hi-hat over. Nice and simple. Let's get these out of the way. Uh, group them. Okay, or another way of doing it is create an audio track and um, from here we'll bring in machine as the audio device um, we'll set this to bit two, I'll create a couple more of these and set that to input three in fact, I think input, th I think three is empty, so I'll put it on four. And then what I can do is, if I go into the mixer, rather than send these to group, I can send that to two, three, put that one out to four, and right, press command. And um, <clears throat> set these to record. And shoot if that goes. Right, perfect. Um, some of those. Same with this one. Okay. And I can completely disable the machine just to show that it's not actually doing anything here. So that's that's three ways I I can use for um, bringing stuff in from the machine. Um, I do sometimes find when I'm dragging and dropping. Um, 
if I drag and drop another one again. Yeah, it's picking up the tempo correctly this time, but I do sometimes find that when I drag and drop out, that this tempo value is incorrect, so you need to then just tweak it back to the, the project tempo for this to line up properly. Um, sometimes it, it works correctly like it has here, and sometimes it doesn't, but it's just something to be aware of. Um, that's the three sort of basic ways. I normally, uh, I, I do like using the individual outs from machine, so I'll normally have these set to um, separate individuals and then I'll create audio tracks to match that. Um, I'll then group the whole lot up and what I'll do is I'll then put that in my user library as a clip. So I've already got one for machine with the individual outs. Um, so it's got them pre-mapped and I just drag, drag that clip in whenever I want to use it, saves having to set it up each time. Right, 